So I'm Brian, and uh, we got Hackaday Prize Judge Joe Grant here. Hello. Talking to DEF CON, what would you talk about? Um, so I just finished up a talk on uh, basically different techniques to delayer circuit boards, so to get access to the inner layers of circuit boards um, for reverse engineering purposes. Okay. Any, any clue? Yeah, um, it was a good project. I mean, it was basically, it was a cyber fast track project. Um, so taxpayer dollars, hard at work. And um, you know, the, in the hacker community, people are always like, oh, DARPA, you're working for the government or whatever, but it is our government. Yeah. We live here, and if they're gonna pay me to do work, uh, you know, something that I'm interested in doing, I'm gonna do it. So right. in this case, I you know, submitted this, I proposed this work, and I was gonna do it anyway, and I'm like, I might as well just see what's gonna happen. Um, so I got money to do it, and basically you know, tried out some low-tech things, very obvious things like sandpaper, um, certain types of chemicals. Uh, but the coolest things, um, Actually, there was a few. So one was the milling machine, which I have a T-Tech uh, circuit board prototyping machine. There's a lot, lots of hacker spaces have, um, you know, at their disposal, which actually worked pretty well to get access to the layers. Even though boards aren't totally planar, so you kind of have to mess around a little bit with the Z-axis height, and maybe do some touch-up work. That was pretty cool. Um, surface grinding, awesome. Like these gigantic machines for finishing surfaces of metal. Uh, giant. Ridiculous sized things that are super, super accurate. So that was oh, cool. that's like lapping. Isn't yeah, it? like yeah, lapping. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. lapping. So they're basically shaving off, um, you know, layers at a time to get to get down. In our case, to the next layer of okay. of, uh, of copper, uh, which is awesome. And then three um, D X ray, so CAT scan was too, was cool because you know a lot of people know about X ray and like X ray products to look inside of them and look through epoxy and everything, but. Um, CAT scan is, is similar, you know, you're just taking lots of 2D x-rays at different um, angles around it, around the object, and then you post-process, and yeah, and then you have like, you can slice right through it. So even with a thin circuit board, you can slice right through that and see individual layers. So that was, I think that was the coolest one. It was just okay. a totally surprise, a total surprise that it actually even worked at all. Okay. And you just gave a 45-minute talk, and you were here for Black Hat doing something much longer. Yeah, so I've been in Vegas, this is my ninth day of 10, <laughs> which is like, I don't know, I don't know, I mean. How's your liver? Well, I don't drink. Oh, okay. Well, and I don't why. gamble. That's why. I, it's like, it's a horrible place to be if you don't drink and you don't gamble. It, uh, so, I, you know, I mean, people who live here obviously stay longer than 10 days and they find things to do. Um, but, you know, we're pretty much cooped up in a hotel all yeah. day doing talks and conferences and stuff, shoes and, um, and like people go outside for like an hour. It's like, I gotta get some vitamin D and you know, everyone goes outside to warm up and get some sun. But it's been tough, yeah. So I had um, four days at Black Hat doing my hardware hacking training class, which is a hands-on class to teach people about uh, the whole process of getting access to a circuit board, figuring out how it works, modifying it, you know, monitoring bus lines. Um, I mentioned the bus pirate and you know, using using off-the-shelf engineering tools and then using hacker tools uh, to effectively, you know, figure out how systems work and defeat security mechanisms if there are any. Uh, and that's a two-day class. So I did that back to back. And then gave a talk at the B-Sides conference on basically the B-Sides of this circuit board work. So the stuff that didn't work, but could be used in different, for different things of hardware reverse engineering. So like the acoustic microscopy I tried to do on the circuit board to basically use ultrasound to image the device. It didn't work on the board, but it worked well to like look through epoxy and get information about systems. So um, that was the, like the B-Sides presentation of the B-Sides. And then, um, yeah, what was the other piece of for this giant truck bucket to go yeah. by. Uh, <laughs> and then Thursday uh, was a, tool, a Black Hat tool arsenal, which is actually a really cool thing I've never done before, which is sort of like a demo. You know, it's like if you go to Maker Faire or something, you have your table set up and you give demos. It was like that, but for hacker tools. Um, so I had the JTagulator there giving demos of everything working. Uh, lots of other really cool tools there. And then came to DEF CON, did a, a Roots Asylum talk, which is for kids basically DEF CON kids, nice. um, taught them a little bit about what you can do with hardware hacking, and then this. So it's just been, you know, trying to keep busy in Vegas um, because I hate being here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're a judge. I'm a judge. For a contest and sending people on a catapult yeah. thing. So what's, what is cool? Um, so what I'm, what I'm looking for are basically projects that people, you know, really put an obvious effort into. And, because it's hard, like with contests, it's sort of like, you know, you don't know if you're gonna get any prizes, right? So you're spending all, yeah. a lot of times, you don't wanna put in too much effort. It's like, well, if I don't get in, I don't wanna put in all this effort. So to see people that are actually doing it, which tells me that they're doing it because they love to do it, not just because they wanna win the contest. Like, like, like they would probably do it anyway if, even if there wasn't a contest. Um, so really working hard. So just, you know, really clever things. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Like just stuff that I look at and I'm like, that's awesome. Like that yeah. blows me away. 
Um, and things that, I, you know, I can look through the source code and it's like, how do they do that? And look yeah. at their designs. And because I love learning about what other people are doing yeah. and to be able to, you know, see what they're doing is great. So it's sort of like, you know, just things that are interesting and, and show obvious, like, you know, care and dedication. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. We'll see you sometime. Yeah, yeah. I guess. And, and um, keep, you know, send me submissions and I'll start okay. looking at them. Okay. Yes. You need to... Yeah, so we're yes. good. We should have cut that like <laughs> <laughs>